there was something I could do to make the two of you get along better. Well, that's easy. Make him change. Very funny. I always say Lenny, yep. One more. Definitely should that? be Lenny. What the hell? What the hell have they done to me? What the fuck? Tree line. Everybody take cover! A Driscoll boys are coming! What the fuck? Holy shit! Poor fella. Sniper rifles on me. Your children. Sign. Rescue. Hold. Oh my God! What the hell? Mark, get down there and help them. Without that, I. Not much would be used. Oh, damn crap! Come on, damn Driscoll! Uh. What's happening? Driscoll, hold in here. There. Stay away from the window. You tell Mr. Pearson. The guy, the, the game takes control from me. I can't even navigate when I want. Rockstar, why do you script death when I can't take all of them? Rockstar, you're fucking scripting! Motherfuckers, I hear it! Fucking idiots. Screw 
off. What are you shouting at? Twenty four FPS, unbelievable. But I have him. Why the hell do I need to retreat? Doesn't make any sense. And then it's scripted to kill you if you don't retreat. Pressing A. Now everyone I left. Get these windows covered quickly, John. You take the windows over there, Charles. You take the side doors there, Arthur. You take the windows in the back. Go. Was it that important that the game took so much control away from me when I had him? I was killing them by the numbers, but no. Rockstar decided we need to take control and script it so you die if you don't retreat. Boo! Fuck it, who? Fun. Oh, now shit. we go back. We need you in the house, Mrs. Adler. Return to Sadie, wait. I didn't know we need to go there! Thought we were going back to the big one! What the fuck? Fucking scripting man, motherfucker. There's no freedom whatsoever in this fucking mission. Fuck you! You're still alive! I put two bullets in you, you prick! That's what I was pushing, but you decided to push over here! Fucking decide already, you fucking idiot! Karen here. Uh, Shit. Poor kid. Mr. Swanson, could you take this boy and bury him someplace near, but not too near? Of course. Charles, help me with the body. We need to get this place cleaned up. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw. Already taking care of it. Come on now, work. Comb O'Driscoll. That man can really hate. So can I, Arthur. So can I. We need to get moving. Away from here. So we should start looking for another camp. Again. Thinking big enough, Arthur. You ain't seeing the vastness of our problems and our opportunities. I'm not sure I get you. You will, son. You will. Meet me near the trolley station. We got work. 
Shall we? Yep. We lost two people now. Kieran and Shaw. I always thought the more you progress into the game, the more people will lose. His. Mrs. Adler fought braver than any of us. She is driven by powerful forces I scarcely understand. That's what love has done to her, I guess. Complete with 90% accuracy, right? Yeah, fuck you. Complete the mission without taking any health items. Complete using only sidearms. The fuck is this? Bullshit. Challenges, quote unquote. Shoot your Driscolls in the board before they disembark. You didn't even know we would need to push there. I was co coming back to the mansion, but then you decided to go to the boat and back again to the mansion. Stupid fucking idiot scripting. I'm just not great company right now. Bollocks. It was complete irritation. Oh, Arthur, I can't believe those pigs did that to him. You can. He was such a gentle soul. Yeah, he saved my life one time. I'll miss him. You make the bastards pay, Arthur. If we get the chance, we surely shall. Stupid ass scripting. I was going after Sadler and then I was coming back to this mansion because that's where we were supposed like to be that. barricaded. Oh, but then it tells me down there return to Sadia. I thought what the hell was wrong? We were supposed to go to, to get her and come back, but now the game decided to push you to that small house over there by the swamp. And somehow you encounter uh, Odriscoll's on the board, so more shooting. But then I was going there and think we're gonna stay there, but now the game tells you come back now! And go to the front where I was staying the whole time, killing them over and over, but no, the game scripted me, uh, it to kill me. To end it if you don't retreat, because it was very important to show the small cutscene when he pulls over the shed. Ah, design is really fucking out there, like this guy says in his review. Rockstar's game design is out fucking there. It has some freedom, but whenever missions pop up, the scripting is fucking off. You can't do nothing. Even as I was getting down by the stairs, the game took control away from me. Arthur was going down there. You press left to right, uh uh, you only press forward and he will go down the stairs and will continue to the door. No control whatsoever. Fucking bullshit. Earlier there was a conversation about him. I'm done with trouble for a while. Okay then. And he was mentioning again, I had feeling inside. People keep calling me dumb. I am not dumb. And then there uncle says, like, people call me lazy, but I'm not lazy, I just don't like working, that's it. Uh, as what I think, I don't think Bill is dumb, but I think he's hot-headed, I think he's impulsive. And that's what I think. He'll always, well, rush in and do impulsive stuff. And hot-headed. Very angry. That's what I think, not dumb. There's a difference. I tried to rob him. What? I mean, I, I was, I was just out of the army, and I, I was drinking like a fish, and uh, I, I, I was still sticking up folk on the highway, just uh, out west of the mountains, and 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 Dutch got one look at me. I was just, I was just drunk, and I was angry. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said and, and earlier. He just burst out laughing. <laughs> and I was so mad. I swear I could have put a slug in him. But he, uh, he sheared me up. And, uh, he, and he gave me purpose. And now I sense some of you fools are doubting him. And that makes me so angry, because he saved me. 
He saved Phil Williamson. And he can do it again. So for all you sons of bitches, you fools that are doubting him, go. What the hell was that? Leave, just run away, just get the hell out of here. But you know what? I know you won't. None of you will. Because you're all the same. You're just like me. So you just, you have faith. We, we've all got to have faith. Because this, this is Dutch Vanderland that we're talking about here. This is this Dutch Vanderland. You tell him, Bill. Somebody's about him. For sure. Okay, well, let's talk more later. <sighs> okay. That's what I said. I don't think he's dumb, but he's hot headed. Angry. Doing everything in a rush. Impulsive. That's it. Micah. At first I hated him, but uh, as the game progressed, I started to like him. Maybe partially because of the good voice. How you still got ten fingers is a miracle. Oh, beauty, ain't it? Not wash the clothes. You know, I don't think I've ever seen you sleep. Facts. It's overrated. Why is it silent? Well, I'll leave you to whatever it is you're doing. Sure. Sure, cowpoke. Hey. Hello, Arthur. So I like Micah, unlike the rest of you guys. <laughs> Just in a year, a lot's happened. I like his voice also very much, it's very deep. Whenever I come here, I expect to get hit with that voice. Well, stick with us, we need you. Thanks, Arthur. Are you well? It's that deep voice, I love it. No, me and my father. We used to hide in the mountains. Tell me again where we had it. Mr. Pearson. Hi there, Arthur. Yeah, the cast here is fantastic. I like... Uh, I think all of the voices there made an amazing job. Pearson is also... I also come to him very much for that deep voice. I love it. I wish I was that freaking alpha male with a deep male voice, but no. I was cursed with high estrogens, I think. I have a low pitch voice, damn it. Hey! Hey! Yeah. hey. What is it? Nothing. Sorry. <laughs> Stood them. <damp>. It's too damp. <laughs> Just go away, please. Uh, and then has Charles. Well, has Charles is uh, not that deep voice like Hey! Hey! What, Arthur? Arthur? What, Arthur? Hey, Morgan. Ah. It's none. I need to rest. I need to rest. There's a Dutch vendor and always Arthur you, you don't me trust me anymore son That like he's always suffocating I don't know it's not really but it just always sounds like you Arthur you don't trust me anymore son <laughs> Of course we do son I don't know something like this but it's still deep I love it And of course Morgan takes the crown No doubt about that is that? No doubt? No doubt that. In a coconut. Speak seven languages? <laughs> okay. Oh, how'd it go in town? Ah. With Abigail, anything is possible. Best actress I ever saw. Really? <laughs> oh, sure. She had half the town believing we were real estate investors from New England. Everybody is following her. This after she placed a little explosive device. When we go back, there'll be an almighty bang. So you think this big job's gonna work? Get everything packed. We're leaving. I hope so. I really do. This place is not for me. Okay. Ouch, Jose. Watch where you're going. <laughs> Mr. I'm Morgan. glad you've done the planning for this one. Not like, well, you know. No mistakes. I'm ready for my retirement. Oh, Mary Beth was just a second ago in that apartment over there. 
reading a gazette, but now she's over there already suing. What the hell? Anyway, she talked with Karen. Karen told her somebody in Saint Denis was telling about drinking human blood. Yeah, many bets and eh, it's maybe romantic. Yeah, and then Karen says, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter whose blood. And then shut up. In a nutshell, they didn't come to agreement. They just laughed it off. Because Maribeth did not believe in those fairy tales that Karen was spewing. She's ill! Morphine. It's weak. Not ill. Weak. And repellent. <laughs> Man at his worst, hiding behind a pack of lies. Get lost! You know, Miss Grimshaw, I bet you were a tiger. In your day. She is. She Bye. still is. I wouldn't mess with her if I were you. Get up, Reverend. Get up. Mr. Bell. Yeah. Yeah. What's going on today? God damn it. We need to do something about him. The Reverend or Micah? Micah, of course. Well, isn't she a freaking tiger? Oh, yes. Anyway, what's going on today? Everybody pushing me around in here. Arthur. I was standing here, minding my own business. Jose approached me about the bank job. It's very hard. And then we were talking that it's necessary, that it's very hard to go rob a city bank. And then we were fin finishing the conversation and Pearson pushed me on the shoulder. What the hell is going on? People are blind here or what? Pushing me left and right. Wow, I found the woodpecker here, huh? Wow. Studied? No. I bought small game arrows used to be down the earth of Kisa. Like I can be found in Roanoke Ridge. This omvirus diet contains insects. Woodpecker, I really needed one. So it wasn't perfect? I guess it wasn't perfect. No, it was. It was. I'm done. At least it didn't take five hours. It took two hours to find one. But I did. Let me show you where it was possible to find one. That was where the location where I found one. I went across his river to try and find one. I was making my way saying, okay, I hope I will find one and make myself Myself, my way to myself over this cougar in hopes to find a cougar as well. And I found a woodpecker. What luck! Usually they can be found here, but I was too lazy to go all the way over here to find one. So I was hoping I would find one here, and I did. He was sitting on the rock. And I thought it was an Oriole. As I was looking uh, around, it said Oriole. Then they escaped, and then I shot this bird without studying, and it appears to be a woodpecker, so... Fantastic news! I'm done with this now. Great, just to mail them now. No, he's trying to escape. He's so cute. He's so cute. How cute of him trying to escape. <laughs> Man, is he slow or what? Yeah. I am... I am lost for words. I can't believe I lost the game. I had three pair of kings. You heard right, three pair of kings. I lost to that guy where I had. He won all the games. With 20,000. I lost to him to a high straight. Three pairs of kings, full house of kings. This game is redundant. Bollocks. Redundant. This is just trash, complete yeah, bullshit. Yeah. Rigged. Crap. This was the last time I played poker. I can't believe I lost with three pairs of kings. Full house as can be. To his sixth straight. 
bullshit. This game was fucking rigged. He won all the games. Everything he won. Stay in here too! We can't let them follow us. This way! Onto the street! is really bad. a citizen Why can't I shoot? I'm an outlaw. My honor goes to shit. Out of here. Oh, that sucked all my honor. 
First of all, the game made me rob them, so I lost honor, and then I killed civilian. Who I thought for a second maybe was a cop, but no. I think we're clear. You know what, Dutch? Next time, let's not damn discretion. Seemed like a good lead. I know, but... Well, we made it. <clears throat> thanks to you. Don't mention it. Yeah, you're a good kid. Yeah, we each got... Fifteen dollars. <laughs> And a quarter. <laughs> get the quarter. Shut up, Arthur. He set us up. <clears throat> Played me like a yokel. Put the law on us. What did we do to him? What did I do to him? I guess he thinks he's the king around here. He don't want the likes of you. So... What are we doing next, Dutch? We just need money. One more decent take, and we're gone. The bank is our bet. Hosea agrees. Even after that? Uh, especially after that. I don't feel so good. Now you just got a bash on the head. Come on. I'm taking you back to camp. Hey, you did real good there, Lenny. Just wish it could have turned out better. Well, can't win them all. 46. <laughs> Urban pleasures. Rob all the customers in the trolley station. Well, the game made me do it. I did not want to lose my respect. Kill 10 lawmen while on the trolley. Prevent any lawmen jumping on the back of the wagon. Okay, shoot the dynamite Lenny throws, complete the mission without take, taking any health items. Tch. Hilarious. We got uh, 15 and a half. Okay, legendary take. We risked our lives. We busted a city, killed so many people for 15 bucks. And we wrecked the city, the trolley. Got off the rails and broke the concrete, ruined the city. Unbelievable. So, Arthur, you get the deciding vote. By what? We take an insult and scurry off like cockroaches? Or deal with business the right way. We don't need to take revenge. We hardly know the guy. This ain't about revenge, Hosea. Angelo Bronte don't mean shit to me. This is about the fact we are planning to rob a bank in his town. A bank that he no doubt protects. A town where his men are gunning for us. Before we do that, we need to put him I out of commission. I disagree. There's always an easier way. There ain't no easier way. Now, I know his type. He is a vindictive little power broker who rules by fear. Now, we pull that stunt in his cesspit of a town. <laughs> we're doomed. You want to leave this place? Leave this country? We need that money. I just don't feel good, Dutch. This is it. This is the last job that we are ever going to pull. Before the year is out, we are going to be harvesting mangoes in Tahiti. Oh. Farmers. But we need seed capital, and we need to leave. You know it. I know it. Forgive me if I can't think too much about the mango harvest. This I'm... is it. Trust me. Arthur. If it's business, well, business is business. Angelo Bronte stands between us and our future. You'll damn us all. Arthur, come on. You better be right about this one. I am. I've heard that before, and usually I've been right. If you say so. Quit doubting, Arthur. It does no favors. Come on. Sounds we difficult. need to go see a man about a boat. It sounds like somebody who may die. We're headed to a settlement called Le Gras. I met a boatman there called Thomas who knows these waters like the back of his hand. Why do we need a boat? So we can attack Bronte's mansion from the swamp. Catch him off guard. He knows we survived the foul station. No so food. he'll be expecting some kind of reprisal. He said the food is up. Everybody gets so, to it except me. Like you were me. saying before? All right. 
Okay, makes sense. See? I do still possess some capacity for rational thought, Arthur. Thank you. For what? For taking my side back there. It ain't about sides. Feels like Jose has lost his spine. But this move on Bronte, is it for the bank job or revenge for Both. what happened at the trolley station? Both. <laughs> Neither. What does it matter? We need to hit that bank. And Bronte has the police and just about everything else in San Denis in his back pocket. He also set us up, and lest we forget, took young Jack. It's both. I'd prefer the revenge. I understand. We just got a lot of pots on the boil, given all the folks who's out gunning for us. You all seem to have forgotten how money is made and what it takes to support 20 people, let alone what it takes to give 20 people a new life overseas. With all due respect, Dutch, is this Tahiti plan really going to work out? You tell me, Arthur. Is it? Have some goddamn faith. I am bending over backwards to make a future for us. I know, but... But! 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 When did you become so small-minded? If you'd rather we break up the family, go our separate ways, just tell me. Of course not. This isn't a prison camp. I am not forcing anybody to stay. So either we're in this together, working together to get out together, or we're not. There simply isn't a reality in which we do nothing and get everything. I know. You're right. It just feels like we're on borrowed time again. I mean, the old Driscoll's found us. Yeah. We need to move. And soon. Haven't I made that clear? Anyway, here we are. Let me do the talking. Thomas, it is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Mr. Dutch. Thomas, have you met Arthur? Arthur? Thomas is quite the boatman. He's going to help us get close to our prey. The other night, we had quite the adventure fishing for catfish. Now, my friend, can I call in that favor? What do you need? You know Angelo Bronte. Well, exactly. We need to make a social call. We were hoping you could row us in quietly one evening around the back of his house. Well, if anyone can, I can. We'll pay you for your trouble. If you bringing him trouble, it won't be no trouble for me. Good. My business partner, Jules, he's out on the skiff. I need to check with him. Plus, I need to check the traps. Would you come with me? Of course. Arthur? Why not? Shouldn't take too long if we can find it. <sighs> Never ever I built to finish this cigar. There's a lot of gators. Uncommon number. Big ones. Great. Come now, Arthur. It'll take more than a prehistoric reptile to scare you, Shirley. Well, I just want to see you meet your match when it comes to a, an aging predator with a big mouth, Dutch. Arthur here is something of a comedian, Thomas, more of a jester than a gunslinger. Well, if you say so, Mr. Dutch. This way. Come on, this way. Follow me here. And stay on the high ground. You call this ground? It feels like water to me. Down here, we can't be too picky there, Mr. Arthur. Got a couple of crayfish traps up ahead. 
My weapons were left behind. Mr. Dutch, you keep a lookout for company. Mr. Arthur, check the traps with me. Can you please check the other one for me, Mr. Arthur? You give me a mana, damn it. Nothing. This one's empty. All right. I got a few more set over this way. Come on. I don't want to know what just touched my leg. Mr. Dutch, you show you the right fellas to be going after Angelo Brunton? Oh, he's much more the kind of reptile I can handle. Now stay close. Make sure you follow my line. Oh, I fully intend to, Thomas. You too, Mr. Arthur. You can see why evening swamp waiting hasn't caught on as a pastime, can't you? I love it out here. Peaceful. Nobody bothering you none. Except for the night folk sometimes. The night folk? Yep, some strange people around these parts. Wider than the animals they are. Well, this just gets better and better. The brood. The freaking barbarians. Shit, my pistols are... Oh! Oh, this water is also very dangerous. Whoa! Stop where you are. That's a gator. Just stay as still as you can. Shit. Arthur left the, the weapons on the, be on the horse, of course. Let's keep moving. I got another trap by that small island up here. This time you see it. I don't it. know what's taking Jules so long with that boat. I think we are all equally keen to find him. The others may crawl upon you, won't even feel it. He already bites you. Very dangerous area. You can see nothing, so you can grab, can get grabbed without even noticing anything coming towards you. Oh, shit, my pistols, man. It's detrimental to the pistols. The hand here, Mr. Arthur. This trap is stuck in the mud. It happens. Ugh. Ooh. Guess something didn't want to be caught. My gosh. So it's true. What is? There's been talk of a big old bull, but people talk a lot of nonsense. I guess this was... No, but only some huge could do this. Oh. Fantastic. Let's hope it bites you first, Dutch. Should we just keep moving? I don't really want to hang around here much longer. All right. I suppose this can wait. Let's go. Hold up. My God, there's no shortage of them. Good eating. Us or them? Exactly. Come on. <laughs> Just can't make my outfit look like Duchess. It's nuts. We really should have run into the jewels by now. I reckon we should split up so we can search both sides. Okay, Arthur, since you appear so at home here, you take the right. We'll go left. What? Just keep your eyes open. Check those waves and ripples, oh yeah.
Gördüm. Okay, and. In the tree. And. Hey, you in the tree? What are you doing? There's a monster. A monster. You okay up there? There's a monster. Where? Master, it nearly ate me. Where'd he go? It's it's out there. What? A big gator, biggest I ever saw, big and nasty. Knocked me off the boat and chased me over here. You must be Jules. Yes. Where is the boat? Over there. I ran. I. Oh. Okay. <laughs> and uh, where'd this monster swim off to? Yeah, maybe it's a legendary alligator. I got the scare. It's over here. You make too much noise. Stop. Make too much noise. Uh, got it loose. Jump. Good man. All right, let's get back to the dock. Yes, please, let's go. Thank God. So, uh, who are these fellas, Thomas? Two new friends of mine. I'll explain later. Jules, we are very happy to have finally made your acquaintance. I thought I was gonna be out here all night. What you doing hiding up in the tree, boy? This gator was huge, Thomas. Twice as big as I ever seen. Twice as angry, too. Nonsense. Whoa. What the fuck Whoa. was that? I think we hit a tree stump. Yeah, I thought we cleared. You're gonna need to jump in and pull us free. Me? Yeah, just do it. Won't take you a minute, boy. Go on. This is a bad idea. <laughs> we'll see any giant monster <laughs> long before it gets anywhere near you. Not Gotta funny. Come crack gunslingers here with the guns loaded. You'll be fine. You didn't see the thing. Yeah, neither did you. It's just we'll just minute, stand behind and push it. Jules? Shit. He won't kill. No, I'm going in. No, no, we can't lose the boat. Arthur will go. Well, quick. Quick, Arthur. Move. Moving fast enough. Come here, son. Lost him. It's 
very tiring. He's going. Shit, that is one big old gate. Oh, your boy doesn't look too good there. Here, take this. Try to stop the bleeding. You're gonna be okay, son. You're gonna be okay. Just thank your old Uncle Dutch. I heard that. Yeah. There's still a lot of blood. You need to put pressure on it. I've stopped the bleeding. Fainted. I think he'll be okay if he don't get a fever. We can bring down a fever. A fever is the least of our worries. Look who's back. God damn it. Put every bullet you got in. Okay, kid. Oh. Sorry, Jules. Guess all them stories was true. <laughs> Big and mad. That's unusual. Normally, the little one's angry. Big one's is lazy. Well, I guess he never outgrew his anger. Kind of reminds me of you, Arthur. You know, I don't think I've ever seen you squeal before, Dutch. <laughs> <laughs> I weren't the one squeal. Yeah, well, you weren't in the water with him. And this poor boy was nearly dinner. <laughs> Can we get some help? Uh, Jules has been bitten. Uh, oh my God. There's a monster out here. Uh, he's been bitten, but he's alive. Uh, Just keep him warm. Uh, Feed him garlic for the infection. Thank you, both of you. I'm at your service anytime you need. Thank you, Thomas. Where can we find you? You just meet me back here. Very good. Uh, can one of you help me put the boat back out? Sure. I'm gonna head back to camp and placate the irritable Miss O'Shea, who's causing more trouble. I'll collect the boys. Meet you back here, Arthur. <clears throat> Mr. Arthur? <clears throat> Old Bronte. A bad man. I know. Killed some good folks. Hurt a lot of people. Well, he definitely lacks a certain charm. I'll see you soon. You be safe. You got monsters out here. <sighs> well. Whew. Yeah. I'm not gonna be surprised if my... Weapons completely drained of condition. Country pursuits. Return Jules to the skiff within one minute, 40 seconds. Bullshit. Oh, I wasn't wrong. Yeah. Completely, completely won. Wow. I knew it. I called it. <laughs> <laughs> 